Today, we would like to continue on the flocculation part. So, what is flocculation? If you still remember, okay, uh, when we did jar tests on Monday or a few days back, okay, we have six jar tests and then we add chemicals, different dosage of chemicals to each beaker. If you remember that. And after we add chemicals, a different uh, amount of uh, different dosages of chemicals, we have to stir very, very rapidly at the initial stage. And then it will, uh, we will have to stir very, very slowly for a longer period of time. Okay. For the first part of stirring, which is very, very rapidly, that was to um, dissolve the chemicals itself. That was the purpose of doing that, okay? Stirring very rapidly. And then uh, once we uh, stir very, very slowly, that is the function of flocculation. If you look at the definition of flocculation, it says uh, to provide an increased number in contact by gentle and prolonged agitation. And that's why you have to gently stir the chemicals in the water very, very slowly so that it will increase the contact, the number of contacts between particles, uh, between one particle to another particle. Okay, once they are the, the increased number of contact, I mean, you can increase the number of contact, so they will collide to each other and forming a bigger size of particle. So it will be easily removed in the uh, next process, in the sedimentation process. Right, so we, before we learn on the flocculation, so again, we, we need to know on the flocculation theory. So the first important thing for you to know on the flocculation is you have to know the CAM number. And CAM number is GT. Okay, CAM number is equal to GT. I repeat for the third time, CAM number is GT. You see, this, it is a dimensionless number. No dimensions, okay, no units if you like. Right, um, right, so what is G and what is T? So T is actually times in second, okay, or in minutes. Okay. So what do we mean by T? T is the dimension, uh, I'm sorry, the detention time of the flocculation tank. So if you can imagine, okay, this is all your water from the coagulation process, okay, you remember that coagulation. I have two methods of coagulation. We have hydraulic method and the other one was uh, mechanical methods. You learn it uh, on Monday. So that water from coagulation will go into the flocculation tank. So this is a flocculation tank. And then it will goes out, it will go out to the sedimentation tank. Okay. The time or the period for the water to stay in this flocculation tank can be symbolized as T. Okay. Sometimes we call it, uh, we call it as time, sometimes they call it as detention time, and sometimes they call it as retention time. They are all the same. So that is T, the, 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 the duration for the water to be uh, staying in the tank. So that is T. So now, does anyone know what does uh, G velocity gradient mean? So now I like to make an analogy. Imagine this is a uh, a lecturer driving a car <clears throat> going for a lecture so they are driving the car with a speed uh, of let's say 60 km per hour okay 60 km, km per hour so i have already made a um uh, i have already changed the speed to meter per second which is 16.7 meter per second okay so that is the speed of a car for the lecturer to drive to the uh, to utm and this is a student from KTDI, perhaps, or from any other residential college. So they are also walking to go to the lecture, to actually uh, follow my lecture, for instance. Okay. So what do you think of the speed of the student coming to lecture in meter per second? Anyone would like to make a guess? 0 0.2. 0 0.2 meter per second. Okay, uh, so that student is not very, you know, they probably is not very keen to go to the lecture. So they walk very, very slowly. So let's say he was in a hurry because he got to attend the lecture at 11 o'clock in the morning. Okay, so I make 
a while guess is probably about 1.7 meter per second okay so the distance between the car and also the student is five meters so when we talk about velocity gradient is actually the differences between the speeds of the particles or the speed of these objects divided by the distance between the particles okay if you would like to make a guess or if you would like to make a calculation okay try to calculate what is the velocity gradient for my case okay the differences between speed of particles or the differences between the speed of these two uh, objects divided by the distance between them what is it can anyone tell me three 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 okay whereby 16.7 meter per second minus 1.7 16.7 meter per second minus 1.7 that's end up to be 15 divided by 5 meter and you will get it to be 3 per second so that is the velocity gradient the unit of the velocity gradient is per second okay so instead of imagining objects we can assume in the water we have particles okay so those particles they are big size of particles smaller size of particles they have different speeds so if you um, get the differences between those two particles speed and then you divide them with their distance to each other so you'll be able to obtain the velocity gradient okay in order for us to have a successful flocculation process okay we need to obtain our cam number or gt to be between twelve thousand to two hundred and seventy thousand. okay so this is a recommended uh, a, a recommend, recommended value for the gt or for the cam number so let's say if you have smaller number than twelve thousand, so basically uh, in your flocculation tank the cam number is less than uh, twelve thousand. let's say it's eleven thousand. so you will not be able be able to form nice flocks so that you will not be able to you will not be able to remove it in the sedimentation process so it's also the same if you have very high number of cam number the high value of the cam number so you also will not be able to form nice flocks uh, to be removed in the sedimentation process right so those are the cam number so that uh, you need to know the cam number in flocculation tank which is gt and you need to know the velocity gradients and also the detention time